I have a friend, his name is Mr. Kurana. So when I and Mr. Kurana were passing out in our bachelors, I asked him, what do you want to become? He said, I want to start a pharma company. And I was, I laughed at him and I said, hey, uh, how do you do that? Fast forward today, he owns a pharma company, right? He failed, he failed multiple times. He started with multiple revenue models in pharma. Finally, he's successful after 20 years. The thing which I want to tell you through this video is his persistence paid off, so did mine. Now, what I want to tell you is as a pharma professional, you have multiple opportunities in the world of pharma. You can start with a loan license, you can get into manufacturing, you can get into formulation development, R&D, CRO, uh, AIML and drug discovery related companies you can start. The only thing you should know is idea is the real oil and you have to arrange data around it. Like, is this idea the real oil? You have to find data to prove that. Once you have proved that to yourself, that is so data is like a proof that idea exists or the oil exists, right? Now execution is the engine. So you have to really work hard. That's what Mr. Kurana did. Really execute your strategy, right? And strategy is the steering wheel, just like the car has a steering wheel, right? And then results will come. And actually results are just a proof that right strategy was implemented. So instead of thinking that you're not good enough, think how can you be good enough? Now, today's youngster or a fresher who is watching this video will feel that I'm not good enough, I cannot do anything in pharma, but the truth is pharma is a huge world and there's so much opportunity is coming in with the advent of technology, the entry of uh, chem informatics, drug discovery with AIML, there's so much scope of pharma suddenly, right? Now, the person who will be successful the one, will be the one who will adapt to the change, who will implement change, who will be action taker and who will really, really, really work hard for years to come. Right. If you, uh, you know, clap about Sam Altman who started OpenAI, please go and read his Wikipedia page which will tell you how many companies he failed with. He was a big time loser once upon a time. But today, he is the CEO of OpenAI, right? So that's the same thing I want to tell you that stop belittling yourself, stop criticizing yourself, stop thinking that you're not good enough. The truth is, every pharma student of today has the potential to convert his idea into a billion dollar company. But for that, you have to believe. For that, you have to act. For that, you have to find the idea. And for that, you have to subscribe to Pharmanica because that's where all things pharma will come your way. New opportunities for you to grow. All the best.